And we are live here, Mike Good, Kind of Garrett Thompson here, GT. Game two of four on day one of the 5A baseball uh, regional bracket here. As uh, bracket play is certainly in play, first game. Uh, we saw a great performance from Maple Mountain GT, didn't we? Yeah, incredible game from Maple Mountain. I mean, when you hit well, field well, and pitch well, <laughs> things are usually going to go okay for you. But, uh, but yeah, they uh, they played very well. Um, tough game for Murray, but, hey, that, that squad is phenomenal as well. And they still got a chance here in this tournament. As today, the game number two is going to be Box Elder and Salem Hills. As we are live with you here from Utah Valley, appreciate you tuning in with KSL. And up to the plate right now. Just struck out KJ Argyle, senior second baseman. Okay, and on Avert on the hill for Salem Hills, and where they're off to a good start with 1K to start. Now up to the plate is Rodriguez for Box Elder. Case and Averett, senior pitcher for this squad. Both teams similar records um, in their respective seasons. The Salem Hills Skyhawks are 18 and 9 overall, 10 and 4 in region play. And for the Box Elder Bees, 17 and 14 overall, and 8 and 6 in region play. So they are fourth. As Rodriguez plunks Averett, as Averett plunks Rodriguez, rather. And Rodriguez will take his base. So. What a day it's been, though, GT. Again, it's been uh, kind of a chilly day here. Rain on and off, but uh, the rain seems to be holding up here for game two. Yeah, um, it picked up uh, right after the end of the first game, uh, that matchup between Maple Mountain and Murray. But, uh, yeah, it seems to have slowed down. Maybe a light drizzle, and we got ourselves a space heater. So The space heater is a game changer. <laughs> it is quite the game changer. Yeah. It's great. I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, we got a couple. We got about weenies we're toasting. I don't uh, know. We're, we're doing it all. Maybe. May I saw some on some rollers at the at the snack bar. Though, Did so, you? Yeah. The box next door, uh, someone was not too happy that we uh, took the space heater. But um, No, you know, we, we, we cheered them up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. I, I, you know, I think we won them over at the end of the day. I think so. Took a second or two, but uh, we got them. Now to play this Griffin. Ryan Griffin, another senior for this box elder squad. Griffin on the season having a heck of a campaign. Yeah, 512 on the year with uh, 41 hits and just 80 ABs. 512, man. Wow. Fouls that one back. Everett here got a 2 2. And now fell back. Ryan is another three sport athlete. Had a couple of those um, last game uh, football, basketball, and baseball. QB for the football team up there in Brigham City. At least he was. He will be graduating this year. I know, a lot of, I know a lot of students have already graduated. I'm not sure when yeah, when yeah. school districts um, end their calendar years. <laughs> it kind of depends. Well, but, they, uh, they, you know, they start early out here at GT Utah. <clears throat> they do, yeah. So they should have should already be graduated, I think. As Alvarez throws that one a little high, it's going to be a 3-2 full count to Griffin, the QB. And the 3-2. Swung on and drilled to right. That'll go foul. And that is nearly to the highway, GT. 
that Jeep Wrangler could have taken a baseball in the back window there. I mean, if you <laughs> take one, day. you take one back a few hundred feet, you're going to be hitting the freeway. Easy. At least the off-ramp. Oh, yeah. And then Easy. maybe straight to the car wash and that take five back there. <laughs> Some free sponsoring for you. And the 3-2. That one swung on and drilled in the right field. That's going to be trouble. That'll drop for a base hit. And Rod Throw to third. Not in time. Rodriguez, Rodriguez gonna, gonna is stay. not going to head home. Third base coach says stay on base. H Holman tried to zing him at third. Went over the head of Gamble. And he will stay put at third base. So we're going to have runners on the corners here. Or uh, second and third, rather. Phenomenal hit there from Ryan Griffin and great base running from Damon Rodriguez. Guys hitting 512 on the season GT. Um, I mean, that's just that's, that's just that is just solid. That's dumb. Yeah, that's that just is, that if is, you're that's, shooting 51 percent from the field. Yeah, right? yeah that's, that that's damn dumb. good. Yeah, if that's, you're hitting 512. Not bad. I don't at know all. what to tell you. You're you're just you're getting on base. Yeah. And balancing you More know, than a, couple, a couple of other sports, too. I mean, yeah. we, didn't, we didn't get to cover. Guys at um, DB, too, right? Plays on the defensive side of the ball in football. Yeah. Well, no, he uh, QB for the football team. And did, did I not see DB on there, too? Did you see DB on there, right. too? Oh, DB. there it is. Guys at DB. Oh, two-way two yep, two guy. Two -way guy. There you go. Yeah. Now to the plate. Goleman, who rips one into right field. That'll drop for a base hit. Rodriguez will score. Griffin rounds third. He will score. And Goleman with a stand-up triple <laughs> as the Beast fans are absolutely rambunctious here tonight at UVU. What a start to this game for the Box Elder Bees. Top of the first, one out, and two runners scored here. And we got a guy on third. Goleman, man. One down here. Uh, bases clearing triple. And that one swung on a drill to right field. And that'll drop for a base hit. And Gamble is going to score. Goleman, rather, is going to score. Goleman's going to score. So another base hit. As Burton's on first with the single, and they're actually going to pinch run, but... Rodriguez, Griffin, and Gallman all score here for the Bees. And we got number 17 up to bat for Box Elder. Maddox Ernest. Averett the pitch. That one swung on a drill to left field. Routine play. And... Burton will not tag. DeGraff makes the play and left. So a 3 nothing lead here early. And Box Elder getting the start they wanted, GT. And they're coming off an 11. Do, do, they're coming off a series winning W. They are, yes. Um, and won those games pretty handedly, if I remember correctly. That's I think they scored 10, 10 runs in the final game. Yeah. That's right. Nice nice pitch there. A strike for Kaysen Averett. And now Kelton Ray, Ray is up to the plate here with an 01. Averett the pitch. There's a curveball inside. It'll drop for a strike. So no two. One down here. Burton on first and some trouble. Kind of a tough start here for Averett, but um, looks like he's been pitching pretty well on the season. A 2.1 ERA on the mound. Averett deals. That's ah, a ball high. Averitt looks over to first. One, two. And there's a strike three called. He gets Reyes looking, and that'll finish the inning. One man stranded, three runs scored as the Bees leading this one. Three to nothing early. When we come back, Salem Hills will have their first track at it to start their 5A bracket play campaign. Stay tuned. That'll be up right here next.
And we're back here on the broadcast in the bottom of the first inning. As Holman steps up to the dish. They're in a 3-0 hole. The Skyhawks are. And on the hill is Argyle for the Bees. That one fouled off. Holman, the team's left fielder. Howells deals their strike. Holman batting 321 on the season. 26 hits and 26 RBIs. Uh, 81 at bats. Now fouled off. The pace of these games, GT, I mean, they're quick. It's, it, it's, it's, uh, it's not what you would expect from 5A baseball. You know, I mean, every pitch, I'm, it's within 15 seconds. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Been loving the pace so far. And it's a little high there from Howells. Howells deals, that one fouled off. Holman down in the count. Well, the count is now 2 2. And the pitch. There's a ball. So a full count here. Howell six pitches into this one. That one swung on, drilled foul. Fox Elder Bees had to travel pretty far to get here from all the way up in uh, Brigham City, Utah. As our man walks, so Holman's on first with a leadoff walk. No outs here. And Cortland go up to the plate. And first pitch, he's going to show a bunt. Uh, it's going to go foul. You like the call there? He's, he's pretty fast, but you like a, yeah. oh, yeah. like a bunt there, GT? Uh, I, I did like the bunt attempt. Um, almost a fair ball, too. Very close. <clears throat> Near foot. You know, honestly, every time I, every time they show a bunt, I'm just praying the ball stays in play. Yeah. I love a bunt. <laughs> it, you know, it, keep it, it in play. Very exciting play in baseball. It is. Um, not very exciting when I do it in MLB The Show. No, why is that? It does not. It does work for you. It does not. It does not work for me. I don't know. I'm not as good as my roommate. He's pretty solid at that game. That one drilled to right. And it's going to be over the head of right fielder Kohler. Drops in for a base hit. It'll be extras. Goal heads to second. He's got a stand-up double, and he's amped up about it. As Holman moves to third. And we got runners from scoring. And the Skyhawks are hyped up in that dugout. They're going to come out and talk to Howells, calm him down a little bit. Salem Hills has uh, responded responded in turn. Yeah. Uh, you know, tough first inning, gave up three runs, but uh, yeah, they are they are back in it. No outs, runners on second and third. And a real opportunity to... About a, about a few guys in here. Now to play Dagan Gamble. First pitch to Gamble is high. And uh, no height listed for Gamble, but um, I'd, I'd guess 6'5 out there. He's a big guy. Yeah. yeah. Big guy, senior. And second, that's a ball. Yeah, Gamble, if he came up here, GT, and he tried to take us on, I, I, I got to tell you, I confidently <laughs> can tell you. <laughs> I'm out. Are you, I'm, I'm taking a nice Mike, righty right to the face. Mike's, uh, Mike's out. Yeah, guy's a big guy. I'm not. I'm out. Last big. game, the, there were a couple six eight guys. They're just swinging a bit. A couple six eight guys in those teams that uh, you got to hey, you know. Uh, that, absolutely. 
you know, I, I think they could be some goons in the NHL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could be some guys who could lay a punch or two. He is a, he is a linebacker and a wide receiver for the football team as well. So another two way guy. And yeah, swinging a miss, got him. No, so. whenever I think of a guy who plays, you know, football and baseball, high school level, sometimes college level, but it's rare these days. I always think of one man, Bo Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Deion Sanders Not as Dion. well. Sometimes yeah. Dion, but Bo comes to mind immediately. What about uh, another one, Danny Ainge? That's right, Danny Ainge. Yeah. Basketball and Jays, swing basketball and baseball. He'll go, go down swinging first out of the inning. But, yeah, Danny Ainge. Did we're he not, play for GT? Did not know that. Yeah. I mean, I know I didn't know I didn't know who he played for in the MLB. No, you didn't. No. And my dad will tell you, he used to watch him at third base. Played for uh, Toronto Blue Jays. There you go. Yeah. Celtics and Blue Jays, huh? Celtics and Blue Jays. All right. Fun, fun little fact for you. As Gamble goes 0-1, Cloward is up to bat here. And the pitch to Cloward, he fouls that one off. Ernest tried to track it down, couldn't get there. Alex Cloward, first baseman, another very solid uh, batting average. Um, 346 on the year, 27 hits and 20 RBIs. Not bad at all. First year on varsity as a senior, and he has worked himself in the cleanup spot first year on the squad. And the 1-1. One, one. That one outside. You're just joining us. We will be, we, we GT, Garrett Thompson, Mike Kukka. We'll be bringing you all the action here today. Four 5A baseball games. It's a whole lot of baseball if you are able to join us. Uh, we had, a, I think, 4,200 people in the first broadcast. That one lined in the center field. And that'll easily score Holman. Goal will be stopped at third. And that is another RBI single, and this time for Cloward. And their first run of the game. So Salem Hill is on the board, 3-1. And solid offensive inning, just one out. Judd Howells, freshman pitcher for this box elder squad. Um, he's had a bit of a tough inning so far. But um, nevertheless, is. Throwing pretty well from the mound. Got some great hitters, though, for Salem Hills. And now Avery up to the plate, the pitcher for this squad. As first pitch is a strike. And that one popped up. It's going to be an easy play for Rodriguez at second, and he's there. So two down here. GT, what were we just talking about? Oh, we were talking about guys that play two sports. Yeah. Dual sport athletes. <clears throat> Dual sport athletes. Doesn't sound very fun. Doesn't happen very often. It, it, does it doesn't. And when it does, they're always just amazing. Because yeah. you, you yeah. got to be really good at it. A guy that could be probably playing Major, major League Baseball right now. I mean, I think everyone would agree. Probably Pat Mahomes. Yeah. Um, he I was mean, drafted with, in the league. but yeah, with, I mean, with his dad, too. Um, yeah. Legendary baseball player. Another guy who was a good two-sport athlete in high school, brother of Clay Thompson, Trace Thompson. Yeah. Played in the MLB. He did play basketball at San Margarita Catholic, my alma mater as well. Wow, okay. You ever see him around? No, have not wow. in a long time. But um, I remember when he hit his first home run for the Dodgers. And even though I am not a fan of the Dodgers, being an Angels fan, um, I was really happy for him. Um, Clay was there as well. Yeah. Very special moment for, for him. Oh, that one up and in from Howells. The graph and read up at bat. The graph and read three one count here from Howells. 
And there's a strike. Caught him looking. Owls here with the 3-2 count, Mike. He's already got one strike out this inning. Looking to get uh, looking to get number two here. And time call by the ump. In the 3 2. That one lined over the head of the shortstop, Argyle. That'll score one, two to the plate. Throw is there. No, not in time. And it's a two run single for DeGraff and Reed as Cloward and Gold both score. Alex Cloward pumped up coming into home there. And they are pumped. Love to see it. 3 all game here. Yeah, you got to love to see that, GT. Salem Hills, Bosch, Elder, 3-3 game. And that'll bring Haskell up to the dish. And first pitch to Haskell is a strike. Right down the middle. And it's going to be a 1-1 one, one here. And the 1-1 one, one from Howells. That's outside. See some sun here, GT, popping in. <clears throat> yeah, sun is kind of making an appearance just a bit. I'll take a little sunshine right uh, now. We, we, we got the space heater going, but I'll take a little sunshine. Why not? Always. We, we, don't have to, we might have to shut down the space heater. GT. <laughs> we'll have to shut down the space heater. I don't know. Might have to, although it does feel pretty nice. It is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Aiden Haskell here sitting at a sitting on a 2-2 count. And a pitch from Howells. That's high. <clears throat> Howells a chance to get him out of the inning here and stop the bleeding at three. And we'll foul back. So we spoil the last pitch. See a brave spectator, and I go sit down in the rainy seats, but not raining anymore. So just got to wipe some water off. Yeah, and he should be good to go. Still a beautiful day here in Utah. Uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, how beautiful this place is, even on, on a day like today, where got the rain coming down, and you know, it's pretty overcast. Still, just absolutely stunning place to live. Yeah. Again, Mike and I both from out of state. Him from New York. Me from California, but love this place, man. We do. We're big fans. As Haskell walks. You know, we were talking earlier, GT, about uh, the population of this place. Hopefully it doesn't get too big. Yeah, you know, uh, we got a lot of room in the state. Now, obviously, we want most of that to be um, either federal or state-protected land um, for national parks and, um, you know, outdoor recreation. But uh, we got a lot of space that still needs to be developed, and so I think we can get we can get a, a lot more people. I mean, when, when I moved to Utah, the population was barely three million. Now it's like three and a, three and a half. I think it's four now. Is it close to four? It's four. Oh no, yeah, it is like three point nine four, something yeah. like that. It's like the estimate. But uh, it's just seven years too. Seven years. Three point one you, to almost four. You've seen four the full seven development years. of Utah, GT. Absolutely, <laughs> absolute full development. There's a strike. Over the plate is Ward. Mason Ward, Jr., infielder. Might see some pitching action from him today as he's part of this rotation. Salem Hills um, do have quite a few seniors, but, you know, relatively young squad. A few juniors and other um, underclassmen on the team as well. But uh, Box Elder, very young team. 
um, lots of freshmen and um, sophomores and juniors as well. So they will have quite a few players returning last year or returning next year. Um, so we'll see how that goes for them. Ball high. Oh, and just an air throw from Burton. Looks like the ball just kind of got away from him there. Not sure what happened to Burton behind the dish. Threw that one straight into the dirt. Yeah, gave up a stolen base. And, um, yeah, oh, a couple there. All right. One-two pitch here. And that one's inside the cold strike three. Got him looking. So Ward goes down looking. We got two men stranded, but three runs scored by Salem Hills. A solid inning. We'll be back. Top two coming up next. Back here on the broadcast. Bracket play. We are in full swing. As Mike Good kind of Garrett Thompson here with KSL Sports. We appreciate you tuning in and watching us here. Uh, as we are starting to get a nicer day here in Utah, which started out to be a rainy one. That one popped up. And he is there for the first out of the inning. That catch was made by number two, Big and Gamble. Lish just got him on the inside of the bat there, and Gamble was there for the easy play. <laughs> And bring it up to the plate now is going to be number 22, Kellen Kohler. Kohler up to the plate here. Kohler with a very solid on base percentage at um, 667. Hitting 286 in the season. Averitt deals here. And that's the ball outside. <clears throat> and the pitch. That's outside. Two two, as yeah, low and in. We got a good seat here, though. GT up in the box. We're looking at, uh, you know, got a solid seat over here. Got the window half open. I'm kind of watching through a window. You're not. Yeah, <laughs> you're watching straight out the door there. I am. It's kind of a good view. He walks him, and Kohler will sprint down to first. And it just gets past Harris in there. So three runs for both teams in the first inning. And we got one down here in the top of the second. Got number three, KJ Argyle, up to bat. 0 for 1 on the game so far. And Argyle chops that one to third. Throwing a second is in time, and a nice play by Gamble. As Gold was there at second base to make the play. Thought we might see a double play on that one, Mike. Me too. But, I was uh, excited for it, honestly. <laughs> a, little, a little late. Uh, Argyle was able to make it to first. And Argyle does pitch, but today starting the game at first base. As that brings Rodriguez back up to the plate. His second at bat today. And pitch to Rodriguez. There is a ball outside. Rodriguez with a 327 batting average with a 397 OBP. Got a 1 1 count here. Averett checks on Orgal over at first. And swung on. That's drilled to left field. That could be trouble, but. To Grafenfeld. 
the gravity there to make the play. That'll do it for the inning. Uh, so far, one man stranded and three runs, uh, no runs scored here in the second. Bottom two up next. And back here on the broadcast, Holmes pops that one up. And it's going to be a routine fly ball. And the play is made for the first out, uh, the bottom of the second here. As the sun begins to peek its head. Ryan Griffin with the catch on that on that one. Talked about him earlier. Multi-sport athlete. When I was coaching at Judge Memorial, uh, coaching varsity basketball there, we had a few guys who played baseball and football. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I played one sport in high school. I remember how busy I was. So I can only imagine trying to balance two. It's got to gotta be a lot of work. It's got to be a lot of work, yeah. You know, and then you look at, uh, in college, I don't think I knew any two-sport athletes. Did you? Oh, I, I did not either. I mean. Not a thing. We were talking about, you know, if you're going to play two sports in college, you're probably going to play two sports professionally. Yeah. You know, especially the D1 level. Oh, Holman rips that one down the line. That'll be trouble. Rounds first, headed for second, and he will make it with ease and a stand-up double for Holman. As the sun begins to shine here in Orem, Utah. Nice hit there from Holman, right down the left field line. And uh, finally, finally a fair ball off one of those hits. We'll take a fair ball, we'll GT. Take, yeah, I, I'll take know, it. I enjoy great. a fair ball or two, to be honest. Yeah, great hit there for the senior first baseman. And that'll bring Goldbeck up to the plate. He's one for one today. And the first pitch is lined in a sand left field. And Liss is there to make the play. Oh, he's and out. They, wow. They, All right. Just got Holman. I guess Holman thought it was going to be a base hit. Didn't tag up. And they get him at second. So that'll do it. That'll do it. Double play. Through two. We are tied at three. Stay tuned. One man stranded. And we will see you at the top of the third. Coming up next. And we're back here in the broadcast. My good kind Garrett Thompson. Top of the third inning. That one lined. Oh, what a play by the shortstop. Bottled it. Gets there throwing the first. Not going to be in time. And that'll be, I think that should be an infield hit. Logged for the bees on that one. As it was a tough play to make in the field. Yeah, number 11, Damian Starr. Safe at first. Sorry, not. Excuse me. That is Ryan Griffin. My apologies. So Griffin's going to be safe at first. Yeah. Holmes did make a good play on the ball. Kind of bobbled it there. But uh, nice play. We'll run her first on the last. I wonder. It looks like they're not going to log that as an error. That'll be a base hit. Yeah. Yeah. Should be two. So runner on first. That one lined to the left. It's got some zing to it. And it is going to land into the glove of the Graffin Reed as he is there to make a nice play in left field. How does that have a little, little girth to it, didn't it? It did, but great play by the Graffin Reed. Been holding it down out there in left field. Here's Ashton Burton up to the plate. He is the senior catcher for this B squad. Gollin, by the way. Uh, flew out of that play. It's going to be an F9 logged in your book if you're logging at home. And there is a strike to Burton. Abert looking over. He's going to he's going to keep Griffin honest there. A little pickoff attempt. Cloward keep him close. Another pickoff attempt over to first. Land safely. GT, we said it. Beatles should be here because the sun's coming out, man. <laughs> they should be. What's going on? Abbey Road? What, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Let the sunshine end. There goes Griffin. Griffin takes off, and, and there won't even be a throw attempt by Harrison. There we go. No throw attempt from Harrison. And Griffin having a solid game so far. Griffin is having a solid game yeah. so far. 
Griffin. He plays football too, doesn't he? Yes, sir. He does. DB, quarterback. Q and the pitch. Ah, swung and a miss. QB and DB. Burton sitting on a one-two count here. Abert looking over at second. And the one-two. Now uh, low and away. GT, those mountains, look at them out there, huh? Looking, Snow is looking gorgeous. Coming down, too, man. Not sure why the sprinklers are on. I mean, yeah. either. It's the kind of unnecessary. I think it's a uh, fountain GT. Oh, no, there are some sprinklers on, too, though. Yeah. That's kind of infuriating. Just had a rainy day. Come on now. I don't love it, GT. Save, uh, save some I'm, water. I'm anti. Yeah. Save some water, UVU. Come on. What are we doing out here? And the three, two. Oh. Oh, swing and a miss. They got him. So Burton goes down swinging. And it's going to be a K for Averett. Is that our first K of the day, GT? Wow. For Averett. Yeah. First strikeout for him. Maddox Ernest up to the plate now for the Bees. Bees, both teams with a three run first inning since we haven't seen anybody cross home plate. And Ernest swings in this one. And that'll drop it a left for a base hit. And they're going to hold him up. Oh, wow. Did he get him at third? He oh, got he did. him. He got him. Averitt manages to get Griffin at third as he rounded the bag, headed for home. Third base coach said stay, but just too much momentum. I, I think Griffin, yeah, he hesitated just a little bit, but as soon as he saw that the ball was was coming back towards the infield, he dove back to third, but they got him. They got, you know, they you look him. back at the second inning, and it's almost like, hey, one for one. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, uh, <laughs> right back the, at you. <laughs> the, the, the runner didn't tag in the in the in the, uh, in the happening prior, so same deal. Both teams go down with no runner stranding when it, when it could have been one. Yep. Um, something you don't see very often. We'll be back. Top four up after this. Oh, bot three. Bot three. Bot three up after this. And we're back here on the telecast. Mike Goodkind, Garrett Thompson. And our man producing the game, Vince Francis, we appreciate you watching uh, here from the beautiful lands of Orem, Utah, Utah Valley University. Bracket play for 5A baseball it is. And uh, GT, it's been a, a solid game here, solid outing. First game, uh, Maple Mountain just absolutely stomping. On Murray, uh, winning big time. And here we are in game two, tied 3 3. Yeah, absolutely. Much closer game. Pitching change here for the Box Elder Beast. We got number five, um, Damon Rodriguez, on the mound. Playing shortstop earlier. And yeah, there's a strike. Howells. Did, did have a really solid outing here today. Um, he is officially out of the game. Yeah, had um, you know, a couple couple strikeouts, couple strikeouts. Um, you know, three runs scored, but just a solid outing for for the freshman pitcher. As Gamble pops that one to right, Kohler makes the makes the play on the ball. Kohler did fall there. Did you see that? He fell, caught himself. The hat fell off. And then made the play. The hat did fall off. I yeah. wonder, Vince, did you get that? Did you see him fall there? He fell. He picked himself up and made the play. It's a cool little play from Kohler. There you go. Don't see that very often. Stay with the ball. You got to stay with the ball, GT. Yeah, absolutely. Kid fell, got himself up. What's going on? Is this the NFL? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, anyway, one down here in the bottom of the second. Bottom of the third. And Clavert is up to the plate here. He's got a one-on-one -on -one count. And the one-one. Rodriguez deals, and that's a strike. So Rodriguez brought into this game, and he's solid first two at bats here in his uh, in his showing. Yep. Yeah, the one two. Uh, one low and away. Cloward at bat right now. Uh one for one so far today. Um did score. 
was batted in by uh, Griffin, if I remember correctly. And that one chopped right to Rodriguez. He makes the play, and he will flip it over to first. And Ernest for the second out of the inning. Rodriguez getting it done at the mound so far. Howells gave up three, but also had a pretty solid outing. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, through two. Fr freshman pitcher, um, and he, he he has a solid ERA on the season. And um, looks like Rodriguez does as well. Sometimes this information isn't the easiest to find, but we do our best to get it to you. We try. We, we certainly we try. We do. We definitely try. As Averett, the pitcher, up to the plate, he chops that one again. Rodriguez, a tough play over his shoulder, throws on a first. Not in time. Ooh. What are they saying? Are they saying that was a foul ball, huh? Okay, yeah, foul ball. Not in play. Okay. So Rodriguez. That was a nice play, though. By very, very, very impressive. Yeah, um, hasn't played a ton, or hasn't pitched a ton rather this season, but a .4 ERA when he's wow. on the mound. So, <laughs> very solid. <laughs> and um, uh, well, made a great play there. But it's, it's, uh, it's uh, you know it's pretty tough to do. Yeah, it's like half a run a game. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Under that. Under that. Yeah. It's, it's Mo Rivera, I guess. There's a ball outside. And the 2 1 Averett, and make it a 3 1. And the 3 1. And he walked him. So, some life here for, for Salem Hills in the bottom half of this inning. Runner on first. Yeah. Averitt gets on base. And um, it's going to bring DeGraff and Reed up to the plate. DeGraff and Reed's made a few nice plays actually today. He has. And uh, Roper K, uh, base runner, switched out with um, Averitt. Okay, so, so Averitt will not be pitching. Top four. Rodriguez deals. That one swung on and drilled into left field. That'll drop for a base hit. DeGraff and Reed's on first. And we got runners on first and second here, and the pot is cooking here in the bottom of the third for, for Salem Hills. I, I can see why um, Averitt got switched out with Roper at, when he got to first, because uh, Roper's fast. He made it to second real quick. <laughs> it would be like me or you, GT. They're pulling us right out of the game. Actually, oh, I'm yeah. not sure. You, are you, you, I mean, if I, if, I, if I get on first, I mean, are you coming in as my base runner? Or am I, I'm am not I slow. Those bases? Am I slow? We're both what pretty fast. We, we run. Pretty fast. We run. Yeah. Not as fast as we used to be, but, you know. No, me, I'm faster than I used to be. You think so? Oh, I used to be slow in division. I, had, I turned on the Jets in high school. I was the fastest big in our conference basketball. Wow. Are you Kenny the Jet Smith, or what's going on over uh, here? Dude, I I'm telling you. Really? Like, I'll, I'll show you my uh, – I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to show you my huddle footage. Really? <laughs> yeah. Do you, think you'd beat, uh, do you think you'd beat the Jet to the board on uh, inside the NBA? Uh, or what? I, uh, I love Kenny, but I think I beat him to the board. You Wow. I would 100 percent be Kenny to the board. I've met Kenny a few times. Great, great guy. Great guy. Yeah, I worked out with him a couple times. He's at the gym. Did you really? I went to. Well, you know, we weren't necessarily working out together, but working out side by side, and we were kind of buddy buddy. You know, we were friendly, <laughs> friendly out when I lived in LA. I um, uh, played against his son in high school, KJ. Oh, really? Yep. KJ Smith played a modern day. I was at San Margarita down in Orange County, California. How was KJ Smith? Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Do you do you miss your playing days? Ah, a little bit, a little bit. but uh, definitely missed the uh, the college days, working for the team, playing scout. That was that was great. Yeah, Garrett was a uh, on the management staff for University of Utah basketball back in the days when uh, our Co friend Parker Van Dyke was on the team. Yep, hitting oh, big uh, shots against UCLA. And the Coach K days. The Coach K days. Coach Kostoviak. great guy. Love love Larry. Um, great guy, great family. Friends with his sons, Ben and um, Cam. You know, we, we should hit up uh, Parker Van Dyke to join us in the booth. I'm sure he'd say yeah for an inning or two. Probably, yeah. He'd say yeah. Well, come, <laughs> tell me where to meet you. I love Parker. <laughs> He's 
He's he's he's got a broadcaster's voice too. He's, he does. He's awesome. He really does. He's he, got a yeah. great broadcaster. Yeah, he does. Great guy, Parker Van Dyke. Yeah. Played overseas this year in Spain, and can't wait to see him this summer as he's back in town. I'm sure. And yeah. Sorry, it was Cam and Luke that I was friends with. Didn't really meet Ben that often, but <laughs> Cam and Luke. Cam and Luke Kristoviak. Yeah. Uh, okay. Great okay. dudes. Love those guys. Yeah, there's a ball outside. Box Elder fans thought it was a strike, but um, says otherwise. Rodriguez, you know, two runners on, but you know, two outs here, the bottom of the third, still pitching well. He's got his team in solid shape. Oh. And he walked him. Rodriguez walks the bases loaded, so Haskell will take his base. And we got some trouble here. With Mason Ward, the DH comes coming to the plate. Ward in a big spot. Base is juiced. And a chance to crack this game open. Score the first run since the first inning. Ward 0 for 1. During his first at bat. Great opportunity here though. Yeah. But two outs. So see if uh Rodriguez and his team can close out this inning and uh, keep the score level. And Ward will look at the first pitch. <laughs> and Ward watches the second one. It's going to be a strike. I mean, not having been to like a high school or I guess you know more broadly youth baseball game in years, I remember how how fun the cheers and jeers were. Yeah, I think baseball baseball's got some good ones. Let me ask you, GT, you, you think we're close to a major league baseball team in this you, town? Uh, can't say, but I hope so. Yeah, people are starting to realize how great our sports fans are out here, and um, you know now with the arrival of our new NHL team which Mike will be calling for and working as an in-arena host for. Going to be, gonna no be great. <laughs> what was that? Huh? No comment. Oh, no comment. Yeah. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to give anything away. but uh, We don't know anything yet. Don't know anything yet. But if you, if you saw him at the event, though, the in intro event, he was there. We, we, had, we had some fun. We had some fun. It, it was yeah. a great he was, time. he was hyping up the crowd. We were getting him going. Someone, I, I know Vince was in the building. Yeah, someone yeah. jeered you, by the way. Someone I, what? I, I said someone uh, someone threw some jeers your way. Which, what's a jeer? Uh, just an uh, insult. Someone. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? I, I looked back at him and I said, hey, that's my friend. Better stop. Oh, they were mad. I don't know. I, you know what? You can't, you can't please them all. I can't win them all over. But anyone who thinks that Mike wasn't doing a great job for the Jazz is crazy, out of their mind. I mean, but I try, man. One of the best in arena broadcast hosts in the NBA. Appreciate you, bro. Absolutely. Legend. We have a good time. Now we get to the break. I want to hear what that individual had to say. <laughs> there you go. I'm all curious. <laughs> but, oh, that new NHL team is going to be awesome. It's going to be I'm fun. E I'm excited for next season. Should be awesome. And what 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 a place Utah's become. And there's the third pitch. Oh, wow, well, we got him oh. looking. He got him looking. Rodriguez bails out the inning. What a strikeout there by Rodriguez. As Mason Ward going down looking. And that'll do it. Wow. Oh. Got him on, a, on an off-speed pitch. That'll do it for the inning. Three runners left on. Tough way to go out. We'll be back for the top of the fourth inning up after this. And we're back here on the telecast. Mike Goodkind and Garrett Thompson. Top four here in 5A bracket play. And as we wait for the GameCast to adjust here, um, got number 16, senior Kelton Reyes up to bat. What a great way to close out that last inning. It was. Uh, Rodriguez bailed him out. It was a 3-2 pitch, and he, and he uh, got it in there for a strike. Um, you know, wow, I just don't think anybody... On that Salem Hills th team would agree with with uh, with the up there, but uh, yeah, they were unhappy with that one. <laughs> they were uh, pretty unhappy with it, but uh, um, you know, 
the way it goes. That's how it goes, man. You want electronic umps? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the electro umps, to be honest. That one Ooh. drilled up to second base and turns into a routine play. Corbin for goal. A goal. Yeah. So Reyes grounds to second. If you're scoring at home, it's going to be a 4 3. Yeah, you like to score a game, right? You like to score an occasional baseball game. Oh, yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah. There are people out there that do it. I would score today. Well, I'm basically already scoring. The game, yeah, so. you basically are. I mean, you got to. I'm doing, I'm doing the score here, folks. So if you're, uh, you're going to get mad at anybody, get, get mad at me. That one shot <laughs> to second. Goal is there to make the play again. Make that 1 2 as Lish grounds out another 4 3. Yeah, two down, one to go here for the Skyhawks. And uh, got number 22, Kellen Kohler, up to bat now, hoping to get on base here and get some things going for the Box Elder Beast. Kohler looks at the first one. As low in the dirt, Harrison couldn't hang on to it. Luckily, no one on base. So the 1 0. And make it 2 0. So, as a Major League Baseball fan and kind of a college fan, I mean, I watch a few games here and there. I know that uh, the mullet and the mustache are very popular right now. Oh, wow. Owen lined up the middle. And he's going to get there. And he will get to first base. Kohler drills that off of the leg of Averitt. Right there. Yeah. Hit, him, hit him right it in was the a ankle. Tough play for Holmes, though. Holmes kind of had to. Get the brunt of that one. He, he did, yeah. The first on time. But no, I was, as I was saying, um, you know, those that kind of look is very popular in baseball right now. But last game in this game, I'm seeing a lot of guys with the uh, long bleached hair. Yeah, yeah. I guess that must be very popular. It's trending it's, right now. Very, very trendy. Yeah. That I'm not gonna bleach my hair, GT. Uh, I'm not. That's not a look for me personally. Yeah, I, I mean, it looks uh, looks looks great on on a lot of folks, but uh, I don't think it would look great on me. I'm out. There's a strike. Yeah, I think um, next fantasy football punishment is going to be either shave your head or not bleach it, but maybe dye it like blue or pink. That's going to be. Uh, that's tough. That's going to be tough. Don't make anybody do that, GT. I mean, it's, it's going to be for like maybe a week. Um, really? I, I'm a fan of the shaved head. I think. You're, you're a shaved head kind of guy? A fantasy punishment? Yeah. Last time I came in last place, I had to spend four hours in an IHOP and ate 20 pancakes. So. Wait, what? That one lined. What a play. Into the glove of Averitt. And he gets our guy out at first. That'll do it. One man stranded here uh, to end the top of the fourth inning. We'll see at the bottom of the fourth. Up next. And we're back here. Bottom of the fourth inning. Sliding play at short. Tough throw on the first. And we got a runner on to start the second for Salem Hills. Start the bottom of fourth, rather. I mean, hey, that was a great play there by the shortstop. Number three, K.J. Argyle. But uh, did not throw it to first in time. So on first is going to be Ledger Holmes uh, with an infield single. <clears throat> Caleb Holman up to bat right now. One for one on the day so far. And deal to Holman. There's a strike. So, GT, you were telling me you uh, you lost in your fantasy football league, and you got to go to an IHOP for 24 hours, and I have every, every pancake you consume. Takes off an hour. Takes off an hour. Yep. That was it. Four hours. Four hours. 20 pancakes, you're out. I'm out. That's all uh, you had to do. It, w it was rough, but uh, yeah. How do you, did you, is that all you ate for the day? Oh, yeah. I did not eat. You were done. Um, after that, no way. That's tough, man. It was, it was rough. I would do a 10-hour, you know, how many pancakes would that be, that one? It's going to be out of reach. Catcher Burton. So Rodriguez. So a 2-1 here to Holman. 
as Burton head out to the mound to have a little conversation with Rodriguez. Yeah, Holmes uh, stole second uh, on the wild pitch in that last one. Holmes takes second. Rodriguez looks in, and he will deal a 2-1 as the umpire calls time. GT, I don't know. It just sounds tremendously unhealthy. It, yeah. You know? It doesn't sound like it was a fun time for you in any way. That's before. why it was the last place punishment. I mean, you know me. Well, I don't eat like that. Eat but there's an IHOP across the street. Healthy. You can go there today. Or, oh, uh, no. Uh, no, I'm not. Is it your last time at the institution? Or <laughs> Pro probably. Probably your last time. Even though it was just a couple years ago. Like, yeah. That's tough, man. Yeah. That's brutal. I couldn't do uh I couldn't do it. I think I would just sit there for the full day, twenty four. <laughs> nah, you like fourteen, stay there for ten. That's tough. And he walks him. Holman will take his base. So Rodriguez, we got a runner on first and second here. No outs, and it looks like the infield crew and uh head coach are coming up to the mound. Corbin Gill will step up to the dish here. As a uh, little meeting here with Rodriguez. Are they taking him out? It looks like he's staying in the game. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Um, didn't see anyone warming up in their bullpen. Um, but yeah, coach, head coach Tracy Mumford, tra sorry, head coach Travis Mumford um, talking to his infield crew right now. Travis Mumford um, is assisted by Casey Cullimore and Mike Robinson. Is it uh, is it Althean time? I don't know. No, it's not Althean time. Nah, I think I, we gotta wait till the four o'clock mark. Oh, uh, dude, I, it, it can it can uh, you know kind of make me sleepy. Really, so, a little bit. Wow, wires me. Yeah, it wires you? Yeah, I'm wired, man. I, I, I heard it can have that effect for some people. Yeah, for yeah. me, for sure. I drink a little matcha in the morning, man. I'm, uh, I'm through the okay. roof. I, you, uh, know, you know me. I like my coffee, man. You do. You, 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 you love a pot of es gel. Espresso or Cafe yeah, Cubano? That's you. I'm, I'm good to go. Written all over it. Goal takes. Uh, Comes up to the plate here. You, you, you brew your own GT here? Oh, absolutely. You do. Goal shows bunt. It'll be a strike. You brew your own, huh? Yep. Not death wish. I'm not doing any death wish. Like <laughs> no, that. no, no. I can't drink it's that. It's unfortunate much for everybody. <laughs> that's just, I don't think that's healthy. That's no. way too much caffeine. Death wish is not fun for, for even the makers of the coffee. Oh, yeah. You, you know, Eli likes to drink his death wish coffee. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> he, he and Bonnet, every morning, they're drinking the death, death wish. The two of them. <laughs> drinking the death wish. I don't know what they're doing. He shows Bud fell with it up. Yeah. I wish Eli would turn on our stream right now and we could uh, let him know we were, uh, you know, give him a little shout out there at home. Yeah, he might be watching. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, you know I'm, I'm not going to shout him out until he lets us know. Hey, for <laughs> sure, I'm yeah, watching the uh, game. Uh, yeah, I'll you, say, Eli, how are you? Good you to make, see you back home. You make a good point. I think Peter Goodkind might be watching this game right now. Peter, My dad back in New York. Peter Goodkind and oh, yeah. Dave Thompson. We got uh, both of them, I think. As he lines that one in the center field, goal's going to take first. That'll be a single for him, and that'll load the bases. So, we got a ducks on a pond here. And bringing up to the plate is going to be Gamble. So, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I got to tell you, Peter Goodkind, big baseball fan, watching back home. You know, grew up a big Yankee fan. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Whitey Four Days, <laughs> 1970s, big fan. Um, you know his favorite player was? Who? Thurman Munson was his favorite player. Thurman Munson. Yeah, old-time guy. Legend. Not not so much of a Yankee fan anymore, Peter. <laughs> he's he's on to a diehard Utah Jazz fan now. It, which is all right. Yeah. Guy's diehard. Puts all his energy into that, I think. So. I've never been to the Bronx, but I yeah. do want to go to a Yankees game at some point. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a great time, man. Gamble swings the first as a strike. How is it as a borough? Bronx a good borough? Yeah, the Bronx is an okay borough. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, not bad. It's not bad. It's not Manhattan? <laughs> no. It's not Salt Lake City. Yeah, well. You got a great little city out here. I think we got our own little borough. You never, you know, you've never been in New York before. 
Uh, no, never spent like an extended period of time there. Really? Flown through. Yeah, I need to. Man, I need to go to Midtown Manhattan um, with my my dad and stepmom. They love it there. Yeah, New York's a great place, man. Yeah, awesome. It's a wonderful town. Gamble, ducks on a pond here situation. And the pitch from Rodriguez. That one's low and away. If you're just joining us in the broadcast, Mike Goodkind, Garrett Thompson here with you. KSL Sports calling the, calling the uh, 5A bracket play. And these first two, game, first two days um, are going to be loaded with action. Four games today, four games tomorrow. And I think the one thing that um, we talked about, you, you know the format of this tournament, Garrett? Um, it was explained to me earlier, and I think I got the gist of it, but double elimination. Um, we don't have the bracket in front of us right now, but um, we'll, we'll make sure to get that tomorrow so we can kind of highlight that for you. As Gamble slings one up the middle, and that'll score Holmes. And a 4-3 lead here for Salem Hills with no outs. Tough situation here yeah, for great. Box Elder. No outs here in the bottom of the fourth. And runner just scored, and we still got bases loaded. So a lot of hits. It's the eighth hit of the ball game for Salem Hills. We're only yeah. in the fourth inning. Got Alex Cloward up to bat. Cloward fouls one back. Cloward's got one homer on the year. GT, we uh, you know through all the um, action. I mean, I, you know, we were kind of talking earlier about high school football and the fall in Utah and how exciting that is. So. Can't wait, man. August. Not too far off. Not, yeah. It'll be here before we know it. I mean, I still can't believe it's almost the end of May. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I always get sad when it's the off season, you know? Yeah. When the NBA season's over, it's always a little sad. Um, I've always been a summer guy, but here in Utah, man, I am full and full on winter guy. Gotta be out here. It's just it's a you winter do. town. Although I do love the summer, spring, and I mean heck, I love the fall too. Um got great seasons here. Got great seasons here, man. Yeah. Even the winter. You know, the 30-degree days in the mountains are, you know, oh, I mean, the last, with snow, it's great. last few years, we've had incredible snowpack. So, um, what, 1,500 inches in Alta or 1,600 in the last two, two seasons total? Is, is, is that the two-year total? Yeah. yeah. Which is an insane amount Cause, of snow. Because season before last, it was, what, 800 or something? It was no more than that. Well, last season was 900. Okay, yeah. Like the, sorry, before last season. Yeah, that was 20, the twenty twenty three season. Mm -hmm. All start, you know, at, you know that season. Uh, Nine hundred inches at Alta, and then the next year, I believe they reported. I want to see, but close to seven hundred inches. That's for twenty three and twenty four. Six, Dude, sixteen hundred. I, I I would love to get one more uh, one more snowfall in there. Yeah, I mean, looks like the mountains got a bit of a dusting today. Well, dusting today. Yeah. How about uh, next year? What's your prediction? What do you got? Over under, over <laughs> six fifty. What do you? I've taking? lost too many over unders on Cup. prize picks. This, oh, really? Uh, you're out this NBA season and uh, during the postseason. So, Cloward will take his base, and that'll bring home Holman. So, a walk RBI for Cloward, and bases are still loaded. And Salem Hill's now leading five to three. The dugout. For the Skyhawks is still pumped up right now. No outs. Bases loaded. Averett up to the plate, and he got hit. Rodriguez plunks Averett right on the wrist there. And, wow, he'll, he'll take his base, and that'll bring home Cloward. Hope he's okay. So Cloward scores. And make it another three-inning inning for uh, Salem Helps here, leading six to three. Yep, we got Alex Cloward on second, and his brother Talon, like you said, just scored. 
And that'll bring up DeGraff and Reed. The box elder bullpen is active at the moment. So and we're having to read the pitch to him. No outs here in the sitting two GT. Bases yes. juiced, no outs. That is rough. Not I mean at, at some point, you know. That one line to left field. And oh over the head of Lish. That'll bring home Gamble. Rounding third, headed for home is, is Cloward. He will score. And now headed home is Averitt, and he will score. And then we another three-inning bases clearing triple for DeGraff and Reed. Wow, GT, nine to three. This, this inning has been rough. Six, six runs in the inning. We were tied at three. Here we are. What a triple. Open, man. Yeah, what a triple by Chase DeGraff and Reed. And they are four runs away, GT, from calling quits at the end of five. Yeah. A game that was just tied. Three RBIs there for Chase. Two-sport athlete, and again, uh, another guy. We hadn't mentioned him yet, but uh, yeah, basketball and baseball. It's a guard for uh, Salem Hills. Haskell chops that one short. A routine play and a nice play made by Argyle. Run will score, but uh, make that a 6-3 play. So DeGraff and Reed scores from third. Finally clears the bases, but a seven-run lead for Salem Hills. Big man number 13, Dom Jex, up to bat. Yeah, Jex, I'll tell you, if Jex came up here right now, GT, I, I would not enjoy that. <laughs> I'll tell you, if, if Jex got mad, you know, you were that fan yelling at me, hey, listen, I'm say Jex. Yell all you want. Uh, sorry for saying yeah. anything. <laughs> hey, hey, and GT, you know me. I'm a big guy. I'm about 6'3", oh, 6'4", yeah. six, 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 in a good day, right? Nah. What do you think, 6'4"? 6'3", 6'4"? I'm not sure. You're not going to give me the 6'4 six. Six, title. Call me short king or what? <laughs> hey, six three is nothing to scoff at, too. I mean, I, I don't. JT, you got to give me six four. I'll, I'll give you after six, the four. Chiro, I'm six four easy. Oh yeah, come on, for sure. Easy six four. Jex lines that one. Will it stay fair? No, it could have been trouble. Jex is batting two fifty on the season. Um, has spent some time on the mound as, as well. Seven point five six ERA with three strikeouts on the year and about eight innings pitched. So and Jax takes that pitch and it'll be a ball. So when he's not pitching, he's playing catcher and uh, also plays in the infield as well. So Jax to short routine play throwing a first going to be in time. Uh, Argyle makes that play look easy and that'll be the second out of the inning. Ten three, Salem Hills up on the box elder bees. And now to the plate is going to be Mr. Barnes. Ledger Holmes, that is. Thanks. Ledger Holmes, that is. Back up to bat. Holmes fouls one back. The uh, Skyhawks are... Uh, Already through the rotation. Through the rotation, man. It's been a seven-run seven run inning, and they've blown this one open. Absolutely. And again, GT, like we said, just seven runs away from ending this at the bottom of the fifth inning if they can pull that together. Uh, yeah, if they can pull that together, if they can, if they can shut out um, the Bs um, next inning. And um, finish, finish uh, the bottom of the fifth with uh, a few runs. Yeah, that might be game over. You know, and, and um, if you're Rodriguez, I think you're just stick with Rodriguez, get him out of the inning, and then bring in a new pitcher. Um, 
at the bottom of the fifth. I think that's the idea. Yeah, I I think they might end up doing that. Uh, he just throw his he just threw his sixty first pitch. Holmes pops that one up. It's gonna be a tough play to make for Gollman. He will let that one go out of play. Thought thought Gallman was gonna jump the sidewall. <laughs> I thought ball. we were gonna see a Derek Jeter move, that, man. That would have been cool. He's allowed That's, to do that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, okay. You know, I wonder how far you're allowed to go. Like, can you go into the pen? Can't or can you go into the dugout rather? No, you you can lean over it. You can you lean can't. over you can lean over the sidewall. You can't jump it and yeah. I mean you, you gotta be on the field, but you can I mean if you if you lean and catch and fall over, that's still that's that's a catch. That's Got a, it. Yeah. yeah. Rodriguez deal. That one swung on and hit right into the glove of Argyle. That'll do it for the inning. So no runners stranded. Seven runs scored in the bottom of the fourth inning. A tough one for Box. A little of a, a little redemption tour coming up when we come back. Top five up after the break here on the telecast. And that'll be a leadoff single to start the inning for Rodriguez. So he lines that one in the center field. Good contact on the ball there by Damon Rodriguez and uh, had to have a solid start to this inning. You really did. Yeah, yeah. And Griffin back up to the plate. Dual sport athlete here. Had a very solid one at that and he's had a good game so far. So hopefully, hopefully Ryan can uh, get on base here for the Bees. And that one popped up. And go out of play. Clower tried to track it down. <laughs> Didn't really stand a chance. Gave it a shot, though. He gave it a shot. I, 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 res I respect the grind. Yep. You, you got you to put the effort in on that one, and he, he definitely did. And... That's a ball. Good eye there from Ryan Smith. Or, sorry, Ryan Griffin. <laughs> Ryan Smith. <laughs> I was uh, confused there, GT, I for a second. That was a little inside. We, we know him. We like him. Love the guy. Yeah, great guy. Amazing individual. <laughs> Blessed to have him in this state. Absolutely. And the 3-1 to Griff. Yeah, that's the ball. He'll walk. So he'll take his base. And Cloward will move to second. Rodriguez moves to second. Check that. Get in. Cloward yeah, is get him, the get first base. Get him mixed up on the, on the We did for a second, here. GT, we were, but we're back yeah. and we're ready to go. We're back. Here's number two, Landon Coleman up to the plate. Landon, Landon Gallman up to the plate, rather. Landon Gallman. Been doing a solid job at third base for Box Elder this game. Runners up first and second for Galliman. And a 1-0. Now we'll foul back. we got Corbin Gull on the mound now. Just threw his seventh pitch. Rotating pitchers has worked out for uh, yeah. Salem so far. It really has. Now in line to the center field. And what a beautiful sliding Ooh. catch made by Haskell for the first out of the inning. Very good catch by Haskell. Gollman not happy, obviously. I think he uh, kind of got robbed of a base hit there. Would have, would have probably scored one, if not two, if uh, that got away from him. Beautiful sliding catch. You'll take it. And we got a beautiful day coming in here, GT. Some blue sky I'm seeing here down in uh, Orem, Utah. Haven't been down here in a while, but I really do like this place. To, oh, Orem is it's nice. top of the line. There's a chop ball to third. Throwing a first in time. And Gamble makes a great play on Burton there. Second out of the inning. He could have stepped on third, and he decided to go to first. Ryan Griffin and Damon Rodriguez both advance to second and third, respectively. So we got Maddox, Ernest up to the plate here. Two on, two out here for Box Elder. Got to make something happen. 
And Ernest chops that one foul. It's just another level out here, GT. You look up at the mountains, and it is just different from anywhere else. Um, as there's a strike inside. Just different from Salt Lake, you know. We yeah. got the mountains up in Salt Lake, but these mountains almost look just different, you know. Absolutely. And I think uh, might be a lot of folks here in Utah that take the mountains for granted. Some that don't, certainly. But uh, um, you and I, not being from the state, I know we uh, we definitely don't. No, I, we I don't. do. I do take the beach for granted, though. Grew up near the beach, 20 minutes from Laguna Beach. I mean, I got to go there all the time growing up, and you know, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I went back there recently. I'm like, man, I really took this for granted. It is. It is just nice. Stunning. It. We have some of the best beaches in the world in Southern California. My opinion, Orange County and San Diego have the best beaches, but people from L.A. and the Central Coast might uh, might say otherwise. You know, that is debatable, GT. That's an off-speed pitch. Got him swinging. Big Goal strike out there. Is swimming, swinging with the off-speed pitch, and that'll do it. So two men stranded, no runs scored, and a seven-run lead for Salem Hills when we see you at the bottom of the fifth for a chance, actually, for Salem Hills to close this one out. Can they do it? Three runs will do it. Stay tuned. Coming up. And we're back here on the show. Mike Goodkind, Gary Thompson. Bottom of the fifth inning. And Holman steps up to the plate. And Holman lines that one left. Oof. Tracking it down is Lish, and he will make the play. What a nice play by Lish. Very good play. Snow cone that one. Camden Lish, the left fielder, ran for that thing. He did. Turned on the Jets. Great play. So Camden Lish makes the play. And again, this would be a chance for Salem Hills to close the game out if they were, were able to score three runs by the end of this inning. If not, top six and then top seven. There we go. They don't want that to happen, that's for sure. No, you want to, I think you want to come out of here and say, hey, you know, there's, there's strike inside. We got number 25 on the mound. Kennedy. Kennedy. Pitching the goal here. My apologies, that's Jensen Kennedy, Jr. As your goal lines this one to right, and that'll drop into the glove of Kohler for the second out of the inning. And Jensen Kennedy, two runners down, al or two batters down already. Yeah. There you go. I think the pitching change was definitely, definitely needed. Rodriguez gave him um, a few good innings, but... Um, yeah, the little little, uh, little change up. Ooh, Is that one lying to left field, tracking it down. Can he get there? No, that'll drop him and be extra bases as Liss tried to get there, but that is extra bases. What a hit there by Corbin Goal. Or sorry, not Goal. That would be um, Gamel. That's Gamel. So Gamel is on second with a stand-up double. He's going to check out of the game, I believe, and they're bringing in a pinch runner, or no? Is that still? No. Nope, that is still... That's still Gamble. Okay. Still Gamble, yeah. Not he gonna... moved over for a second. I wasn't sure if he was coming out, but yeah, he's not bringing, in, not bringing in a runner for him. Alex Flowered up to the plate here. Another Another big hitter. Alex has hit home runs against several different teams this year. Clower lines this one to left. That'll drop in for a base hit. Are they going to send him? Gamble will head, to, head toward home. The throw on its way. Not in time. And Gamble crosses home plate again. Rodriguez. Clower moves to second. Rodriguez wanted uh, Burton to throw the ball to him as Clower was uh, rounding first and heading to second. But um, Burton did not throw the ball over the mound. So... Here we go. Wow. Again, one run away here, GT, from ending the game. 
two runs away. But the winning run is at home plate. And yeah, first pitch. Two outs here. Kennedy has an opportunity to close this inning out and uh, keep his team in this game. Averett, starting pitcher on this team up to the plate. As switching runners there at second. Cloward is coming off of second. And Hicks checks in. So Austin Hicks heads to second. Averett steps out of the box for a second. And probably bringing in a faster base runner. So if uh, Averett really gets a hold of this ball, then uh, I think Hicks might be coming home. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, you know, I think a, a, a standard single could bring home Hicks. He, he could, yeah. Yeah. Depends how, how deep or shallow it is. We've seen some fast base runners. Today. We have, man. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much every time they're at second, they're scoring if it, if it drops in for a hit. Hey, with multi-sport athletes especially. I yeah. Mean, sports where there is a ton of running involved. I mean, I am not surprised. And there's a ball. And the 2-0 strike inside. Nice curveball there from Kennedy. The 2-1. Oh, he hit him. Wow, he hit him. So Kennedy hits Averett. Averett will take his base. And we're hearing some boost here. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Un unintentional. Um, yeah, tough. Tough play. No fun getting hit by a pitch. <laughs> no, I wouldn't enjoy that. <laughs> no, I, uh, I stopped playing baseball when I was 10 years old, so I never got hit by a pitch. And uh, I don't know. If I I always avoided getting hit. I was always terrified of getting hit by a pitch. Oh yeah, absolutely. My biggest fear. Oh, I. You gotta not care. Yeah, you know, that's the key. To yeah. It. You ever see ever see anybody uh, get a career-ending in injury by getting hit by a pitch? It's rare. Happens, but it's rare. It can't happen. At baseball is a, it can be a dangerous sport. Yeah. Um, balls flying at very high speeds. Oh, that one lined to the center field. Beauty. And that'll bring home a run to Graf and Reed. No. Oh, is he headed for home? He is headed for home. On the way, the throw. Oh, oh out of the reach of Burton. He just lost it. And Johnson will head to third. Or, yeah, Johnson will head to third. So now we got runners in scoring and a chance to win the game with a base hit here. Great hit there from DeGraff and Reed. You gotta change the score, GT. Look at me over there. I'm, I'm slacking. <laughs> we got to Graf and Reed at second, and Johnson at third. Here we go. Chance to win the game. That one swung on and drilled, out of play. Lucky souvenir for a fan. <laughs> there are no fans over there, but we'll take. <laughs> Yeah, starting to move into the warmer seats down there. And it's going to be Aiden Haskell with a chance to close this one out. Runners on, first, on second and third. And that one drilled out of play. So an early 0-2 count. If Haskell can get this one out of the infield, it will end the game. And Salem Hills can move on to bigger and better things as they look toward winning this tournament.
but so far Maple Mountain and Salem Hills have been the two dominating teams today. And that one fell back. Kennedy, a tough outing on the hill. He's trying to get his team out of this game, or out of this inning, rather. And there's a pitch swung on and missed for the third out of the inning. And that'll do it for the bottom of the fifth. We will head it to the top of the sixth after this. Two, two runners left on and two runs scored in that inning. We'll be back right here from Utah Valley. Stay tuned. We are back on the telecast. Mike Goodkind, Garrett Thompson here, produced by Vince Francis, live from Utah Valley University. Kelvin Reyes up to the plate for Box Elder here in the top of the sixth. Goal on the hill for Salem Hills. Second pitch loan away. And, you know, I was just talking to uh, our man Vince Francis about uh, oh, that one. Chopped right to first base, an easy play made for Cloward. Talking to Vince about, uh, you know, the, the fun um, Marshall League this summer, which we'll be producing and uh, be a part of. So it'll be, be some fun, GT. Yeah, looking forward to that for sure. I know uh, you've been talking about it for a while. And uh, it'll be my first experience with the Marshall League, so... Maybe get some sunshine out there, you know. Oh, yeah. Go all the games from outside. Who knows? Who knows what we're feeling? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Get in the sun. You know, it's, you get to a certain point here in Utah. That one fell back. You get to a certain point here in Utah where, I mean, it's like almost like Southern California. Every day it's just sunny. It, yeah. I, I know we, you're used to it. but We, we do I'm get not. a ton of sunshine um, out here in the Salt Lake Valley. Um, but, again, if you know Mike and I, you know that we love the sunshine. And the pitch to Captain Lish is going to be high. Main difference is I think you're more of an SPF 15 guy, more of an SPF 30. 50. I'm a 30 oh, guy. 30, you're 30 GT, guy. Yeah. 30 guy. All right. I think you're you're still tanner than me, although we're, we're both pretty tan right now. But yeah. we are, we are both pretty tan. Been getting some sun lately. Making sure to use protection out there, though. Trying to, man. Trying to, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, my SPF 30. I mean, right now, man, it, the, the sun's pretty strong. It is. UV is a five right now here in. Uh, Norm. There's a swing and a miss. And that'll be a strikeout for a goal, his first of the game. So he gets Liz swinging. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Kohler up to the plate here. And that first pitch is a ball inside. And I'm calls time. Beautiful afternoon on our hands, GT. Absolutely. And the 1 0, that's a ball inside. Looks like a 2 0. Lineup says nope. So that's another. Uh ball and there's a strike inside <sighs> two one count two outs here mike not looking good for the bees gt uh summer here in utah are you expecting a hot summer what do you what do you think in here i think it'll be pretty warm it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a toasty oh, yeah. one it'll be toasty last year was hot man it was very hot yeah you know i i didn't love it I'm I a mean, winter yeah. Utah guy, man. What can I say? We're not we're not Arizona hot, which is nice. And that one chopped to short. Oh, and Ooh. just over the glove of Averitt. And that'll head into center field as Haskell's there to clean it up. So a runner on first. And some life here for Salem Hills. But yeah, GT, summers here, man, are uh they're hot. It's not Miami. It's not sticky, which is good. Yeah. I yeah. much prefer a dry heat. I can definitely I, I Cannot do humidity when it's when it's super high. Down in Florida, man, you're looking at like 90, 95 percent. With it's 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 uh it's it's, yeah. <laughs> it's rough. It's a lot. Yeah, temperatures reaching you know you know low to mid 90s. Feels hotter. 
I was out in Miami uh, during March, man, and it was just every day was brutal. That one swung on, drove to left field. That'll drop for a base hit. And Argyle moves the runner over to third. And we are at second and third. Here in the top of the sixth. The box elder B is making some noise here. There we go. After starting um, over three Argyles on base. Number five, Dan Rodriguez. Rodriguez after the plate here. Looks like Rodriguez, is he going to stay in the game pitching? Or is he just moving to utility here? I think he's just moving to utility. Must be. Um, Yeah, I think they're gonna they're gonna keep Jensen Kennedy on the mound. Well, you can't bring him back in. That's oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. You yeah, can. you can't. You uh, can't bring a guy out and pull him back in. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, though. Imagine that would be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why not though? You know, basketball. You bring the guy in, you can leave the game, come back. You know. Yeah. And the two zero. That one's away. So the 3-0 to Rodriguez. And there's a strike. GT, after this game, we're going to stretch our legs. You know, get a little walk in there. Absolutely. A lot, lot of sitting. But what, a nice, the what a nice day to do it. That one popped up in the right field. Holman is there, and he will make the play for the third out of the inning. That'll do it. So two runners stranded on, no runs scored, no errors, and a couple hits in that inning. We'll be back. Bottom six coming up. Chance to close it out with a run. Stay tuned. Uh, we are back here on the broadcast in the bottom of the sixth inning. And a chance to close it out here for Salem Hills. Uh, one run would do it. Stacey in the game on the hill for the bees as they made a pitching change and after the plate is Jex, Damon Jex. And Stacy deals on the 0-2. And Jex pops that one up to right field. Kohler is there for the first out of the inning. Bottom of the inning rather. GT, you know, we got a lot of things to talk about here today. Absolutely. We got a lot of airtime. <laughs> tons of it. We got I mean, tons of airtime. <laughs> yeah, we've, um, I mean, this is our, coming up on hour number four. We are in hour number four. Yeah. Is that what it is? Uh, hanging out there. We've been taking bets on what time the last game will end here. I think we're at now we're saying 9 o'clock if we're lucky. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not, I, not, I, not, not. Not that I don't really love watching baseball, you know. But you know, we got to be here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Hopefully, get a couple hours of shut eye and then head back. There's a strike. Ledger Holmes up to bat again. Freshman on this squad. Holmes pops that one up, and I'll go out of play. Yet another two-sport athlete, football and baseball. Varsity football as a freshman, too. That's impressive. As Holmes lines that one to center field, and a beautiful play actually made in center field as Griffin gets a glove on it and is able to at least stop that ball. Almost went over his glove, and that would have been extra bases. Yeah, Ryan Griffin made a great play out there earlier this game uh, with that sliding catch. Yeah. He made a couple of nice plays. Yeah. So one down, home and up to the plate, and the winning run is at first base. And there's a strike on the outside corner. GT, we're talking, uh, I know you said you're an Angels fan, man. Can't be, can't be coming out here telling me Mike Trout's the greatest of all time. I'm out on that. 
Uh, Mike, tried to, Mike Trout is the greatest angel of all time. That is correct. The greatest angel? Yes. But he's not in the conversation of GOATS players now. Uh, no. no um, he, you know, I feel like five years ago he kind of stopped with the uh, – you know he's been hurt a lot, and he hasn't. You know, it's 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 been tough. Um, I I feel like the organization could have done so much more for his career, but um, he's he's an incredible player, um, and I always enjoyed watching him in person. Yeah, Diamond Club seats got that through uh, my mo- got those through my mom's boss actually. Really, he's very very generous. Yeah, you're a Diamond Club guy. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, it's, okay. It's nice. Yeah, go to the go to the uh, Toyota Club, get some free food, some drinks. Sounds like sounds like trouble for Eli. Awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. Eli could be getting kicked out of Angel Stadium, <laughs> left and right. <laughs> and the O two runner will take second. He's Throws out of in there. time. What a throw by Burton. And a nice play there, also at second. Our guy with a nice glove, and they're able to get Holmes. So, GT, we were talking the format here. The winner of this game will play the winner of Maple Mountain, and the loser of this game will play um, Murray from the last game. That first yeah. pitch popped up to left, and that'll be a routine fly ball, and that will be caught and left by Lish as Holman goes down. That'll do it. All right, for the inning. No runs. Hits. Couple, there was a hit. There, there was, was a couple hits. The, yeah, there were a couple hits. But uh, and uh, one yeah. man stranded. We'll, we'll we'll be back here for the top of the seventh and potentially the ending of this one coming up after this. And we're back here on the show. Mike Goodkind and Garrett Thompson, KSL Sports, and the top of the seventh inning in five A bracket play. First pitch swung on, drilled into center field, and that'll drop for a base hit. Ball was hit by number 21, Ryan Griffin. So Griffin's on first. And he is three for three on the day. He's three for three on the day, man. Yeah, not bad at all. The dual sport athlete. Uh, Now to the plate. First pitch is a strike. Yeah, Landon Gallman, third baseman, up to bat right now. One for three on the game. Gallman pops that up. Second baseman tries to get there and does make the play. Throws on a first. Almost in time, and but uh, off the glove of Flower. Nice play made by Holmes there. Yeah, very nice catch. You had uh, Holmes, the second baseman, and um, center fielder. Haskell and right fielder Holman all converging on that ball. Yeah. Trying to see who's going to get it. And it uh, looks like Holmes said, I got it. So good play there and for the Skyhawks. First pitch there is a strike. We're having a good time, though. GT, Mike Goodkind, Garrett Thompson, KSL Sports calling this one. And uh, what a what a day here weather-wise in Utah. That pitch lined in the left field and dropped for a base hit. And Burton's on with a single. You know, I uh, we were talking to Vince about um, last year and how the game went so late he had to go stay at, stay across the street at the Hampton Inn. <laughs> and I mean, that can happen. Um, you get a weather delay, and you know, game games go over time. I mean, a lot, I would a lot, I would stay at the Hampton Inn. I would I would gladly go over to the Hampton Inn right now. It's nice over there. Big big fan of Hamptonality. Uh, not bad. <laughs> we got some mountain views. Not bad. No, Hampton's Hampton's just fine. Yeah. I, I, I would gladly stay at the Hampton Inn tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. me too, man. Yeah. I don't think we're getting any lightning storms, though, that I've heard of. Might, yeah. Really? We've had, we've had a couple the last week and a half yeah. in, in change. Yeah. No, I um, – thunder here and there, but a lot of lightning um, east from – I mean, east my apartment. I, I, I face the Wasatch Mountains. You do. Um, I, I did actually see that as that ba- that ball gets by yeah. Harrison, and the runners will advance. Yeah. So my my apartment faces southeast. Got a beautiful view from downtown. But uh, you face west. 
towards those beautiful ochre mountains. You get the sunset, so well, that's you, nice. You know the exact title of the mountains, GT. Oh, dude. Wasatch East, Ochre West. Wow, East. I didn't know that, man. Yep. Oh, I got the Ochres? You got the Ochres. I didn't know that, man. They're all the Rocky Mountains, though. So. Wow. <laughs> Ernest, pitch to Ernest, is inside the 12-6 curveball for a strike. So a 1-2 to Ernest. No force out at second or third anymore. And the 1-2, now on, low and in. Go through a little uh, little inside on that one. And we got Ernest sitting on a 2-2 count. And that was just on the outside corner. Ump almost wanted to call that one. He said, no, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. He said, no, nah, I can't do it. Nuts. As much as I want to give you give you that one, no, I can't. Just can't do it. That was out of the zone. Out of the zone. 3-2 yeah. on the way. That one lined foul. See, we are talking about it earlier. Um, my trip to Japan went to that, that baseball game, and there's a foul ball uh, headed, headed towards the stands. They play the alarm, that alarm sound. Wow. Are there, is there netting around the stadium? Oh, yeah, standard netting. But, like, if a foul ball is going into the stands, yeah. then, yeah, they play the alarm. Why? why? Uh, it's a warning. It's wow. like, hey, foul ball incoming. Like, brace yourself. So is someone full-time on the job of the alarm? That one. Full-time, man. Lined into center field, and he is there to make the play. Runner will score as Griffin slides into home, but Haskell makes the play in center field. So we are one out away here from seeing Salem Hills advance yep, and play and Maple Mountain they tomorrow. Will, they will play Maple Mountain, and um, unless they can pull off a miracle, it looks like uh, Box Elder is going to be playing Murray. Uh, both games should be great matchups, though. Yeah, it should be fun. Should be a lot of fun. Both teams that we just mentioned, uh, Salem Hills and Maple Mountain, uh, came into the game as favorites. And um, so no surprises so far today. No surprises just yet. Is your dad watching, by the way? He's sending the stream for this one? He, he might still be watching. Is yeah. he? Okay. Dad, if you're still watching... Um, we're still here, so <laughs> we're, we are we are tuned in. <laughs> yep, for you, Mister Mister Thompson. He told me not to call him Dave, though. Too casual, so I want to call him Dave. Oh, he was being sarcastic with oh, you. Okay. Call, call, him call him Dave. Dave. Now I'll foul back. Hen hence the Your Majesty joke that he made. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like the Your Majesty. Honestly, I'm all for it. Funny, funny guy. But uh, it'd be it'd be really weird if you were to call him David or like Mister Thompson. He so would like, like Dave. just okay. Dave, just okay. Dave. Yep. Okay. And the 2-1. That one, low and away. Same with my maternal grandpa. Um, my grandma was the only one who ever called him David. Really? Yeah, she called him Dave sometimes. Everyone else, he's Dave or Tanker Dave. I love a Dave, man. Oh, yeah. It's a great name. That one, chopped to third. Gamble is there, throwing a first in time. Yes. Ooh. And that one, oh, 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 he's safe. He's safe. He's safe. Uh-oh. He is safe. Wow, that Cloward. I think Cloward said he had it. The umpires are going to talk this. That over. is, I think, the most controversial co controversial call we've seen today. Cloward fumbled the ball in his glove, but it looked like he still had it. And you got to come out here and, and talk head this one coach over. Is I think they're going to go ahead and argue about that. The umps will get together here, put their heads together, and geez, when is the last time we've seen a play like that? So, ground out to third. Third baseman throws it to first. Yeah, catches it initially, but then yeah. fumbles it. A little fumbles bit, in, but, but he, he was, I mean, like he, from my point of view, was in time. Was the runner's foot on the back? Was his foot on the back? Yeah, that's the question. It was Cloward's foot on the back. Do you remember the Galarraga, the perfect game? Oh, he got so robbed. That's tough to watch. He got a he got a car out of it though. He did. Remember that? They, they gave him a car. They gave him a car. Yeah, he deserves a per. He deserves Armando a Galarraga game. deserved that car. He deserved a perfect game. He did. He did. Yeah. That was tough. Yeah. Safe. Oh, they're going to stay with the call. Okay, so now we got a force out at second. Runner's going to be safe at first. Say Salem Hills fans. Um, they're excited about that. Well, they're making their displeasure known. Oh, they're not. Oh, they're the Elders are excited, excited, excited about, about that. that, yeah. You'll take it. They are. All right, looks like head coach. And goal is going to get pulled from the ballgame, folks. So Gola's going to step out. 
head coach Scott Haney for the Salem, Salem Hills Skyhawks. He's talking to his infield crew there on the mound. And there will be a pitching change. Trey Mitchell will head into the game. Right-hander. And that was weird. I thought I thought Cloward had that ball, fumbled it a little bit. But I his, did too. His foot was still in the bag, but when he was fumbling the ball and technically didn't have it, the runner's foot must have just touched the bag. Yeah, must and have. that's why he was safe. Yeah. Okay. Vince, what do you think? You think he was safe or out? I thought he got it too. Yeah. I mean, we could probably look at the replay on that one after. And we could, yeah. Discuss. Yeah. All right, so I think they're looking for a one pitch at bat here to close this one out. Got uh, runners on first and third. There we go. Camden Lish into the game, uh, up to the plate here. And correction, two outs here, runners on first and third. And that first pitch. It's going to be a ball outside. Now a fouled off. I missed the sound of the aluminum bat. Really did. You really you did. Yeah. You're not a are you a wooden bat kind of guy or no? I mean, as a you know, MLB fan, yeah. Um Love that sound too. It's classic, but, man. That one's a little high. Yeah, growing up playing, I watched my brother play and you know, when the Little League World Series is on, I you know, I'll I'll tune in. Yeah. Got some good teams. The League World Series it's fun. It's, it's fun. fun, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. It's it's fun. fun. But uh, yeah, miss that sound, man. It's a, it's a good one. That one lined in a right Ooh. field. That's 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 got some weight to it. But tracking it, and Holman is there to make the play, and that'll do it. That will do it. Salem Hills will go on to win this one by a final score of 12 to 4. We are final for the second game today. And we are final, and Salem Hills again tomorrow now. We'll play Maple Mountain GT, and uh, both these teams had quite quite the outing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, both win big here to start this double elimination tournament. And, yeah, like you said, Salem Hills moves on to play Maple Mountain tomorrow. And Box, El Box Elder play Murray. is going to play Murray. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Uh, really appreciate you tuning in for the first two games. Mike Goodkind, Garrett Thompson on the call. We will have game number three for you here coming up shortly. What time we got, Vince, on that? Official 4.30 time. Um, we will be here on the call. That is going to be uh, number eight, Cypress, versus number one, Brighton. And then we are going to finish out the day with number five, Orem, versus number four, Springville. All right, we'll see you here in 45 minutes. Mike Goodkind, Garrett Thompson. Appreciate you tuning in with KSL Sports. Catch you for the next one. And for right now, we are over and out.